In this video, we're going to talk about how to graph on the TI-83 or TI-84. Some schools focus on this heavily after making you buy these calculators. Other schools never mention it at all. So first, you're going to hit this Y equals button in the top left. You can actually graph up to 10 simultaneous equations in here. Now think of the most standard graph of Y equals X squared. So if we want to graph that, we can have Y equals X squared. Then we hit graph, and you wait, and it draws it, and that's great. Now, if your graph settings are all screwed up, you can hit zoom up here in the middle and either do standard for a bigger graph with less clean numbers, or you can use Z decimal for a prettier graph that is more zoomed in. Either one works. Now, the most common graph that can be helpful for students is graphing an absolute value graph. So, if you hit second, and then the zero button, which takes you to a catalog. Abs, absolute value is the very first thing in the entire catalog of all 700 plus functions in the calculator. So you hit enter and it gives you the absolute value gra graph. So if you had, what is the absolute value of two X minus four, then you could hit graph and it would draw it for you. If you have not graphed before, whether for this class or pre-cal, ACT, SAT, PSAT, all number of things can be done by graphing on your calculator. Definitely practice it. 